Okay, after a month-long absence due to bronchitis and other life things, uh, thanks Obama, uh, we're reviewing Carrie Mitchell's site today. Uh, she's a photographer in Essex, which, for those that don't know, is across the pond in the land of the Britons. Brilliant! So, first off, we're dealing with a flash site here. Um, now, when I do speaking engagements, I jokingly bring up that Steve Jobs killed Flash in 2007 and ask why anyone would still be using it in 2015. I just had a look at a client's site statistics that I have in England, and uh, it looks like for her, tablets account for 20% of her traffic. That's 20% of the people that cannot view your website. Um, but look, you're in a perfect situation here because I noticed you have a WordPress blog um, as well. And the wonderful thing about WordPress is that it can be used to power your entire site. Um, many people still misleadingly think that of, of WordPress as a blog only, uh, but all the sites we build here at Flaunt Your Site are built on WordPress. Uh, and uh, even you know if you use you know you're using a pro photo theme on your blog uh, you could still use that and get a, a pretty good looking website um, so my suggestion to you my main main suggestion would be to migrate into a WordPress site and move you the the WordPress blog that you have over to the main domain set up the proper redirects and use your WordPress as your site and you'll all of a sudden gain an additional 20% or so uh, more brides that can access your site. Um, now you may have an HTML version that gets displayed, but it's typically a far inferior experience and, and oftentimes looks nothing like your desktop version. Um, and setting up consistent SEO on sites like that where they have a mobile version of a flash, it's really impossible to do. Uh, since the two versions ends up being shown as two separate sites, which creates a dilemma for Google in which to crawl, index, and display. Um, really, your best solution is a, an actual responsive website. WordPress, you know, you could even go to Squarespace or something like that. Okay, so I'm not going to comment too much on the Flash site. It's pretty. It's unique. Um, I'm sure people are drawn into it when they get there. Um, and all this design is completely achievable with a WordPress site. So all this done here, and then you also notice that um, if you use, if you actually do design a WordPress site, you know some of this stuff will be readable at different um, screen sizes, right? Because this is it scales down. It looks like uh, based off of the Flash, um, you know, it, it's doing its own scaling, um, but it's also scaling this text at the same time. So this is kind of very small. And this is in, incredibly small. Um, so, like I said, I'm not going to comment too much on the Flash site, but you have a blog here, so we, we can actually, you know, use this um, SEO-wise and, and usability-wise. Um, I'll go ahead and talk a little bit about that. Um, so, I'm actually really surprised that, you know, coming here into the blog, I'm really surprised at the the width that it takes up. It's ginormous. Um, most sites are designed to be around 960 pixels, um, and that's that's a fair um, size. When people uh, have wider screens, they use a responsive type of uh, of website that expands, but it also makes sure that it stays within the confines of um, the screen that they're viewing on. So you can see here on my MacBook Air, I have to scroll left and right to get the entire uh, screen to fit. Um, or it doesn't fit, I have to scroll to see what's on there. Uh, so I know Profoto is not responsive, but I would um, recommend sizing it to 960 so that the majority of people who you know, use screen sizes that, that large or small can actually see your entire site. Remember, not everyone uh, has 27-inch IMAX, right? On my 27-inch screen, I can see that's not a problem. Uh, so, just I'm going to touch a, a cut, uh, I'm going to touch a little bit about design and what you can do here to improve. I, I think um, with the blog, there could be some more elements of the website into it. Um, you know, if we come back here, you know that you got this 
really pretty header with a menu, um, but it's kind of, it's a completely different experience up here. So as if I was a customer and I went from one to the other, um, it would feel like going to another website. Not an entire you know shift because I could still see you know your your logo is you know very similar to over here. Um, but there's enough of a disconnect to throw someone off. And that's where one, I think uh, making one WordPress site would help big time. Then you wouldn't have to worry about what your website, your flash website and and this site looks like. Um, so you'd get some consistency throughout the site. Um, one thing that really kind of stands out for me, uh, and this is design and picky stuff, but uh, the use of the Arial or Helvetica, whatever this is, it seems a little generic and plain. Um, I really love typefaces and would really recommend you find something that fits a bit more with this this uh, the site. You know, fits in. You got like this really nice script font here, but then you go to just a you know kind of a generic uh, Arial or, or Helvetica. Um, and it really stands out with the the large text quotes here. You have that um, down here. I saw another one where it just kind of like boom here. This is just a big blocky texty thing. Um, there's uh, that that thing where you use really big bold text can work um, if it's really um, integrated into the design and it's you know the typeface is really pretty or you know connected there's a expression of music called sitting in the pocket um, I'm a bass player so I, I look I look to sit in the pocket and that's when the bass player is playing the right notes in a groove and he's lining up right with the drummer he's sitting right in the pocket and um, so he doesn't stand out he's not ahead of the beat he's not behind he's right in there you know gelling with the guitars um, and and that's that kind of uh, feel goes the same for design. So there's you know some places where Arial does sit in the pocket, and other times it just looks a little off. I think I think you can find a prettier font that you know really you know kind of integrates a little bit more, especially you know in this um, you know this just straight you know content text here. I think. Um, you know, like, you see how, you know, this, I think this is actually a Helvetica Thin or something. This actually looks really designed. Um, and you could do the same thing with the site, too. The, the content text doesn't have to be that stock Helvetica or um, Arial. You can actually have it, you know, sit in the pocket a little bit better, fit into the design a little bit better. Um, Let's see here. And conversely, what what I also noticed is, um, well, you have the big the big text here. Um, your call to actions are so tiny, you can't read it. You want people to contact you, you know. So that should be really large. That should get you know people to notice these things. Um, you want those to be really big. Um, SEO wise, I noticed you know the. Um, you know, you're just kind of mimicking your URL here uh, for the title tag or the SEO title, and I'd really uh, suggest you you modify those to be your keywords so that um, you know as the title tag is actually a very um, um, very prominent SEO um, uh, ranking factor. So. You know, having just the the URL here doesn't really do you a service. Uh, you have actually a pretty good one in here. It's long, but it's but it's good. It's you know you're referencing your city and county. Um, it's very very long though. It's too long. Um, but you're actually referencing a keyword that you're trying to rank for. So um, and you actually do rank for that with with the flashlight. It's kind of uh, interesting that you do. But you do. So there's a few things um, that I would suggest. Uh, like, like I said, I think the biggest one is actually moving everything over to a WordPress site, and um, you know, so so you get away from Flash. Like I said, Flash is, you know, so old. It's surprising that people are still out there hanging on to that as a service. I would get away from that as as uh, as soon as you can, and get something that 
you know, really, you know, is designed well and fits your site. So I hope all that helps. I know it wasn't a whole lot because I had to stop and it was a flash site, but um, that's really should be the biggest takeaway from this. And then uh, you can start, you know, working on your SEO with a with a traditional site. And uh, yeah, I hope that works out for you. And um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And um, I hope this was of value to you.